Welcome back to the Food for Thought podcast. I am your girl, Twixie. I was about to say Essence. What the fuck? <laughs> I am your girl, Twixie. I took too much time off. I am your girl, Twixie, a.k.a. Twixie the Gemini said it wrong, a.k.a. your girl's favorite rapper. And next to me, it's your boy, Erla, the bearded boss with, with no that sauce. sauce. With no sauce. I got the ketchup on today. Mmm, with the mustard. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? A little mm. splash. Just a little splash. Little I, got, I got it with mayo. <laughs> so, mayo. Mayonnaise, you know. With the ketchup shoes. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. we're going to have to do it. Oh, no. Condiments on no. you niggas. <laughs> <laughs> and today we got uh, some fancy antsy. The recipient. Ooh, I am definitely a recipient today. Oh, uh, so It's not gonna be good. I know. I look. You know what, man? I don't know. Like There's a sweet smell to it. Why don't they tell the stories behind these wines? Because I'd be wanting to know. Like True. how how True. you come up with this name? Especially something like that, the recipient. What makes you like just name it that out of everything? Even the other wines that we had, it's like they have good names, and it's like why why did, why did they choose to name it that? Cause that's what makes us get it. We don't yeah. know how it tastes yet, so we going off the names. Like, where did that name come up from? Cause, anyways, um, let's test this bitch up. Let's see how it tastes. I'm loving it. Oh, like that. what? Hmm. Mm. So, um, the extra you, money was. What are you grateful for, man? Let's um. What am I grateful for? It'd be so much. I want to make sure I'm not repeating myself. Because we do ask this. Nothing wrong for uh, you repeat yourself. Be grateful for things more than once. Especially if it's coming I'm up grateful months. for my wife, bro. I ain't even going to front. Like, for real, for real. Like, That's what's up. I was just thinking last night. I mean, I give her credit. But I be feeling like no matter how much credit I give her, it's not enough. Like it's priceless. You know what I'm saying? Indefinite. Like definite. <laughs> yes, yes. So I'm I'm grateful for my wife, man. She the shit. So shout out to you. What about you? Um I guess I'm just grateful for the people I, I surround myself with. I'm a, I've been learning a lot, you mm. know. Mm. A lot of people around me, whether it's family or friends, just Learning, you know, having having an opportunity to have people that are able to teach me things directly or indirectly. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now, are these people younger than you, older than you? Younger, older. I don't. I don't really knock age uh, or intelligence, if that makes sense, because you can learn something from anybody. Mm. Whether it's just a little thing, or you know, mm-hmm. some kids so they they like my daughter. She point out stuff to me all the time that I didn't, that I don't even. Be thinking about or see at first, you know what I'm saying? So, mm. yeah, that make you think too. Yeah. Oh man, every day though is a fucking a lesson, I guess. That yeah. we from somebody. Sometimes we pick it up and we don't. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Most times we don't. Speaking of that, uh, one of my friends, she was just, uh, I guess, feeling feeling discouraged. Uh, yesterday Mm -hmm. she's uh been investing into a lot of business ventures and uh, i guess some of them didn't work out the way she was expecting them Mm -hmm. and she was just like kind of rambling off on uh on social media i just had to like kind of bring her back to you know i'm saying square one i was like you know uh because we speaking of lessons i was like don't don't take these losses as losses take them as lessons and i was like these are just building blocks for you to get up to that big win because sometimes you have to take those losses to really build up to get that big reward at the end. And that shit hard, though, you know? Yeah. Like, it really, like, especially if you don't, it's hard because you don't see the, the outcome on the other side. Yeah. Even though you could be doing everything right, but if you can't see the outcome, you just be like, what am I doing? Am I? Feeling like, you know, lost, yeah. which comes with discouragement. But damn, I mean... Shit, I've been reading like all kind of weird shit <laughs> everywhere lately about people yeah. feeling that same way though. Like for real, for real. So I think it might be the retrograde that's, that's hitting like I super some- hard, bro. I saw something on social media and <laughs> this dude was, um, he was like, I think they were like rock climbing or something. Mm-hmm. And they were already at the top. And I guess he got to a point to where he was just scared as hell. And the caption was, uh, when you scared to take the risk, but you still take the first step. And it just had him on there, like, just 
like mm. shaking, scared for his life, but he was still like slowly moving to, to you know, going. to keep going. So I was like, I was like, dang, that's crazy, man, because that's like a that was like a perfect example of just a every a person, a everyday person that's trying to move forward and get to that next that next step or that next level, but you you scared of that risk because you don't see the outcome. Or the, you, you see it, but it's very blurry, so you don't see it clearly. Mm -hmm. And like, you just, like, I was like, damn, when I seen that, it just kind of hit me in a different way. I was like, man, that is like, that is so true, because that's exactly how you be. You be scared, shaking, like, man, I don't really want to do this, because I, I really don't have the money to do it. I really don't have the time. I really don't have X, Y, Z to do it. But I know if I do it, it could happen, but I don't see it. Mm. You know, it's just, man. <laughs> nah, I, I, I know exactly, like, what you mean? Cause I be feeling that way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think everybody does. Just not everybody actually admits that they feel that way. But I know for a fact, nigga. Like I be feeling that way. Not all the time, but and when I do, even excuse me, when I do feel that way, even like a little bit of confusion or loss, lossness could come in like. Lossness. Yeah, I know that that's no word. <laughs> I know it's not a word, though. That's a word, though. I like that, though. Like, lostness. It's like, you know what I mean, though. Yeah, I know it's, what you it's mean. It's like, yeah. oh, what the fuck? And I don't know. It's, I don't know, bro. Mm. I know that feeling, though. I know that feeling. It's a battle that you can either keep fighting to win the war, or it's a battle that you can, that you can struggle with. But I, I'll just say this, because I, I struggle with it myself, you know what I'm saying? So not everybody can just, it's not easy to overcome, I'm not saying that, but like sometimes I just got to step back and just realize like time keeps going. And the more, the more days I'm scared, the less time I have to get to where I want to get, you know what I'm saying? You know, or or even not even that. The less time I have to enjoy what I what I what I get when I get to what I want to get. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I just think of it like that, man. Like I need to just go for that go, shit. Yeah, go for it. Even if you're scared or not. That's crazy, bro. I was just thinking that to myself, um, like <laughs> a couple days for well for the past couple because it's not yeah. one day. It's been like at least a, a minimum of four days in a row that I've been thinking that same thought in my mind. Like, yo. Yeah. You might be scared to do this, but nigga, you need to fucking do this shit. <laughs> you gotta go. It don't matter, nigga. <laughs> do what you gotta do, like. And I think majority of it is for me, is like with my music. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I got a lot of shit that I just be like holding for ransom for what? <laughs> Like, holding that shit for ransom, yeah. like, nigga, like, what you scared? Like, you make this, you like it, you made it. That's what you know matters. what I'm saying? That's all that matters. And my wife, as long as she like it too, because yeah. she gotta like it. <laughs> you gotta have it. <laughs> if she don't like it, I'm gonna be like, okay, back to the drama. <laughs> what the fuck like, is this? <laughs> for real. Because she gonna let me know if it's whack or not. But, yeah, you just gotta do that shit, bro. When you get in that mindset, how do you think you get out of it because I know that everybody gets in that mindset <laughs> but they I, don't know how to get out of it yeah I, I don't think I I don't think I kind of like sometimes I don't completely get out of it you know what I'm saying that, but I, I jump out of it and maybe have like one foot in but I kind of like like it take it's, it's steps for me so my first thing is like is the, the slapping of, like slap myself in the face like Man, you, you don't have time to to be scared. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta just go. And then I just start putting things in front of me that that continuously remind me of what I'm trying to get to. Like, for instance, um, like I may watch a video on real estate, or I might just start listening to some beats randomly. Mm -hmm. Just you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying freestyle angel or whatever try not to forget yeah or i might start watching uh like i have a, a channel i watch to where these real estate agents they show uh very luxurious like million dollar homes that are in los angeles and one of my one of my one of my homes that i do want to have when i you know what i'm saying get to where i want to get is in in los angeles so i just continue to put these things in front of me to remind me and help me manifest the things that i want and it kind of helps me even if it don't completely get me out of it it helps me not worry about that one foot being in. You know what I'm saying? Keeping that 
uh, your vision yeah. alive or from being cloudy. Cause exactly. When it get cloudy, it's hard to clean that motherfucking mirror, nigga. You can yep. For a long time. <laughs> Shit, I can't see nothing. <laughs> like, man, I know that feeling, bro. I know that feeling. But at least you... At least you know to throw things, like, back in front of you. Yeah. You know, because some people, they... They don't know what to do when they get to that, to that point. It's like, oh shit. Yep. Now it's all over. Yeah. Everything's done. <laughs> panic mode. Not nah, for real though. For real, for real. I think I low key panic, but I don't. I panic, but I still throw the things I need in front of me. Because yeah. I, I feel, you know, what I'm saying I feel like, okay, you just need to collect yourself, calm down. It's gonna be all right. You know what you need to do. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I give myself, like, some crazy-ass... I don't know if I can call it crazy, but some fire-ass... <laughs> I give myself some fire-ass self-talk, you know? Yeah. Whether it's in a mirror or even to myself. When I'm just driving, I'm like, nigga, like, get your shit together, bro. <laughs> you need to be doing this. You should have been doing this. Like, kind of going hard, but not going too hard. I want to I wanna add something, though, because me and... um. Tony was talking, I think just a couple days ago about this, but we said the reason why we feel like how we feel is because the standard of the unit, the the standards that the United States holds on us, the people, you know what I'm saying? Like the judgment and well, you know, you got to be a rapper at this age or you're going to be whacker. You can't be successful. It's done. Like you, they make us feel like we're on like some kind of time limit, which we're not because and time is timeless, nigga. Like you, and you don't know when what is going to happen or what you just fucking don't know nothing. You know what I mean? When it comes to time. And I thought that was interesting. And then now that you said that, I think everyone experiences the same things in life, but at different times. And I'm gonna explain that. Like, hmm. it's like the stigma they have on you have to be successful if by a certain age. If you're not, then your time is running low. Da da da. On the flip side of that, say you do run into success at an early age and you're millions of dollars and all that, and in a lot of cases. You're still you're still empty in other in other ways. <clears throat> you may be empty because you haven't found your love. You may be empty because you don't haven't found your happiness, um, et cetera, et cetera. So you eventually go through those things that the people that don't get the success for early they may be experiencing success in a different way. So I was gonna say finding their happiness early, finding their peace, yeah, yeah, finding yeah. their love, or you know whatever that mm-hmm. is, and then at the end of all of that. Then they accomplish the big success and all that, and then it's just a big package. You know what I'm saying? So, I think it's no, like you said, it's no time limit on anything because everyone, in most cases, experience the same thing in life, but just at different times. You know what I'm saying? Whether you you experience it at 20 or 50, you know what I'm saying? You eventually experience similar things in life. Mm, yeah. As far as happiness, peace, like the basic happiness, yeah, peace, yeah, love, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Friends, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. What y'all think about that? Taking risks to leap forward. Taking that time out to invest in something that you want to do <clears throat> or whatever. Sacrificing time to leap forward. Okay. I have, to, I have to get it right. Taking quick. risk. Yeah. Right? Same thing. But Same yeah, thing. sacrifice, sacrifice. That was a word. But yeah, that's just, that's. And I'm going to tell you what made me think about that. Sacrificing time to leap forward. Because. I was thinking about, I was watching a podcast and um, he was saying sometimes in, for you to be successful, you have to sacrifice um, spending spending time doing, the, I guess, the normal things that people would, I guess, value in life, like um, birthday parties, um, you know, going out as often as you did. Um, just like, just look like normal life events that you would break your time to go you may have to miss that to, in order to leap forward and, and have accomplishment you know what i'm saying because maybe at the same time that you have to attend an event 
you really need to invest that time on if you're a real estate, if you're in real estate um, meeting with someone to view a house or if you're doing music to do a concert or to wrap up an album or you know whatever 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 you're doing in life so you're sacrificing that time that you would have with family friends hobbies whatever is not I guess um, I won't say not important but stuff that you've been that you've been using your time for before and now you have to cut down to make sure that you spend more time to leap forward and be successful in life. I learned that um, this year or a little bit of last year. Yes, 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 yes. I could say a little bit of last year and still going on this year. Um, I don't go to no parties, nigga. Yeah. I don't go out, bro. I don't like I chill and I do this because I only have time to do this. Um, if I'm switching up my schedule to do something fun or I don't know what you want to call it, whatever. Because when I do music, it's fun. Yeah. But it's also work. But I guess you say miscellaneous. You okay, can, yeah. You can put it miscellaneous. <laughs> <laughs> so when, when, I, when I trade out what I usually do for those miscellaneous things to do, I feel scattered. I feel so scattered. I feel like I'm almost <clears throat> out of order. So I don't I don't do those things. You know what I'm saying? I'm not chilling. If I'm if I'm chilling, I'm trying to make my chill session um productive. So yeah. for example, if you come through, even though we chilling, we about to do some music. Yeah. Alright, you know what I'm saying? Like we about to come up with some more ideas for like to make money, period. Like yeah. so whatever that means. And um Outside of that, bro, like I'm, I'm really just, I work and spending time. I don't know why, but lately it's been hitting me like I need to spend time where my time, where I want to spend it and where my time is valued. I've been feeling that lately. So like being somewhere that with someone or being somewhere with an establishment or whatever it is that doesn't value like my presence. I don't even wanna, I don't wanna be in that mix yeah. or around that person or I don't care who it is. It can be family. It can, I can, it can be somebody I'm super duper cool with. Like yeah. if you don't value me or shit, my presence, nigga, I'm gone. So I don't place. waste my, I, I try not to waste my time on just Cause you can't get time back. So I know, like, man. Once that's spent, crazy. Once it's spent, it's it's like you's no refunds. It's gone. So that's why you like you said you gotta you gotta spend your time wisely. And um, uh, somebody was I well, I heard this two different ways. Mm -hmm. I heard one person say um, there's not enough time in a day to do everything they have. And mm. then. Um, I, another person that I heard later on was like, there's a way for you to, to, um, add more hours to your day. And when I initially heard that, I was like, can I answer it? Is it a only, question or it's only, I mean, you can answer it. And then I'll just put what, what he said. Hmm. I think, uh, the person that's saying that they, it's not enough time in a day. Uh, it's not true. If it wasn't, um, it wouldn't be given to us. First of all. And we would have had 36 or, you know, whatever. How are we over 72? That's a whole day right there. Like, mm -hmm. nah, we were given 24 for a reason. And I think the answer, I think of creating more time is for me, maybe. I, I was gonna say get up early, get up earlier. Uh, I discovered that, that that gave you more time too. Like in the day, you can do so much if you get up early. Yeah. Five, six o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever your schedule is, because some people work, you know, different different times or whatever. But yeah. Yeah, that that was actually part of the answer he said. Okay. Uh, it's <laughs> it's uh, cutting down time on things that are not needed. Like for instance, yours is. I won't say sleep is not needed, but a lot of us sleep more than than we need to be sleeping. Meaning you may sleep eight to 10 hours, which is half the day. You know what I'm saying? It is. And really four to six hours should be, a, if you are trying to have a productive day, four to six hours should be your, your norm. Maybe six hours if you, if you really need to, um, to get some sleep. 
another another thing he said in addition to that is uh, automating some of the things that you have to do in life. So, for instance, uh, and he was speaking from a business standpoint. So, like, um, we'll just we'll just say for music, for instance, and um, and I, I, uh, instead of you recording yourself, ha uh, you run into someone that is a, 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 a as good an engineer as you, and they are y'all y'all team up, and then bam! Instead of you having to record yourself and stop and go or do whatever you do. You have someone there that is that is able to mix and master to your standards, you know what I'm saying, and, and move as fast as you would move. So now you didn't cut down time that you would that you would normally spend doing your music mm -hmm. or uh, editing videos or just just whatever it is, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying. You 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 build you have you build a team around it, or you have you uh, create an automation to where you're not spending your personal time doing those things that you could be automating or teaming up with someone that is uh, expertise in, in that field mm -hmm. and now you can spend your time investing spend more time investing to other things that require more of your hands-on doing or you create another avenue for something else that you add on to your table to uh, to uh, aid on to your success mm. and i was like i never I didn't. I thought about it like that, but I didn't think about it like that. Yeah, as I thought about as, it like that. As far as like adding more time, I just, I, you know, what I'm saying, I was like that. That that could turn your 24 hours. Now you, what you would get done in 48 hours, you're getting done in 24 hours because you don't have to take that time out to do it yourself or however it hmm. is fun. You know what I'm saying? I say yes and no because if you're wanting to learn how to do something on your own, but putting it, having to put it on auto, autopilot means. Uh, someone else will have to do things those whatever for you right or outside service will have to help you do that if you're trying to learn something on your own you do have to put in that time so but, I agree but, and then I'm it, like but but if you're automating you already you the reason you're automated is because you're already doing it on your own so you already know how to do it so you're just all you're doing is teaching someone else to do it how you do it so now you don't have to do it it's not like it's, I'm not talking about like a new skill that you don't know how to do this is something that like say you engineering, you know how to, you know how to engineer. Or say I, I was making beats and I know how to make beats. Mm -hmm. So now instead of me sitting there making all my beats, I get a protege and teach him how to make beats similar to me. So now we both making beats and now I can get double the double the beats uh, made in in the twenty four hour or you know however it is. Mm -hmm. But yes, that is true. If it's a if it's a skill that you're trying to learn, you should not put it on automation until you kind of master that skill, and then now you can you're able to teach someone else to do it similar or the same way that you can do it. And that Still way- Still gotta put in that time though. Yeah, you gotta put in that time because you, you, you have to monitor it. You have to make sure that it, it continues to stay up to your standards, but you're not putting in as much time mm -hmm. as you would be doing. Yeah. Just just focusing all your energy on it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta set yourself up first. Yeah. Before you get ready to do Set it. yourself up and now you can spend 50% of the energy because now you're just cleaning up and making sure that w the person that you put uh, that you gave the job to is doing the stuff to your satisfaction to your standards and it's staying the exact way that you had it or better than than before yeah bro i'm gonna I'm go and subscribe and check out that dude or whatever because i know yeah if you're watching it it's some good stuff yeah for sure for sure so anything crazy been like or out of whack been happening to you or just like uh, what the fuck nigga um Oh my God! Nah, just not out the way. Nah, nothing, nothing, nothing crazy lately. I don't want to say crazy, but just something that raised your eyebrows. Like, oh, okay. You ain't gotta uh, tell me what happened. I just wanna know. I don't think so. I th I've been really on some. I've been working a lot. I ain't been encountering people lately. You don't like, have to be people. I ain't, I been, they, they could, they could come but that's your all, way. But that's the only time I, I run into some crazy stuff. I really <laughs> that's what people... That's when I, yeah, when I encounter other people. When I be by myself, I be, you know what I'm saying? I be on some chill. It's when I go out in public. You know what I'm saying? That's when So I you've be. been solo lately? Yeah, I've been in a house solo lately. By yourself. Chilling. Yeah. Working. Working. Staying, Working. Out, staying out the way. Writing music. Mm. Working. That's okay. all I've been doing. <laughs> no, I feel you. No, same here. I had, I, I, well, I had. I'm trying to hurry up and get my real estate license, too. Oh, how's it going? It's going. I got, I'm working on that, too. Yeah. It's okay, just, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm trying to finish the class so I can go and take that test. 
Okay. Okay. I I'm see get it you, done, bro. You know, I'll really, see you. Real estate agent Earl Arthur, Beardy Boss on the way. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I changed my IG name too. I saw it, but do I get like some kind of points because I did make that name up for you? Can <laughs> credits, I credits to Twitch? Can I give? No, I want, <laughs> I want some money points. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some money it's for this. Very loud, the bearded boss on Instagram. Nah, that's loud though. I like that. Boss. I like that. I had it as very loud, the billionaire. And nah, then I was like, like, I was like, you know, let me the bearded boss. Let me, cause they, yeah. that's, that's already known. So let me go and put change that. Change it up. Sh I might change mine. Then <laughs> shit, fuck it, nigga. So they can tie together. They still know who I am. <laughs> shit. Oh, speaking of know who I am, my new single. Fuck a hater, fuck a hater, fuck a hater, baby. It's out right now, everywhere. Go stream that mug. I got you in my playlist. I low key had forgot I had downloaded it. It just came up <sighs> when I was writing. Man, I, got, I, I got a few songs in my playlist, in your playlist. I'm, I'm taking it out. I'm taking this part out right here in the video, but. The secret formula. <laughs> what made you? How do you find your? How'd you find your style, and how long did it take you? Because I know some no, people. Not for real, because no, I. Okay, because this is that's a real story behind how. You I did you that. know you know like we <laughs> when we start off rapping we sound like somebody we do, yeah. and we have to keep on practicing until we find our own style. So it's like take you four years to mimic somebody else's style. Then you go for another four years or three years or however long to find your own style. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And to get comfortable with that, you gotta rap with that for like two, four years. Yeah. Uh, how I found, because originally when I used to rap, I, I didn't rap, I used to really rap. Like punchlines, like they used to call, people used to compare me not to, to Lil Wayne basically. Because I used to just, when I wrote music, it was like I was freestyling it. And I didn't, I used to I just can't push a T, cause he really be. Okay, I guess coming you just, the... yeah, I was just like, uh, but I was punchline-y, like I would, I was, it wasn't like more, it wasn't like lyrical, it was more, I mean, it was lyrical, but it was more like metaphors. I guess, I guess that would probably mm. be more. It was a lot of metaphors I used to use. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, and and I, it wasn't really like style. It was just like straight bars, and I used to just like my even when I wrote my music, it was like from page to page, just straight down, like no 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 spaces and nothing. I used to just straight rap, and probably most of the time I ain't, I ain't really have no hooks. I used to freestyle a lot, and I really wasn't just like I guess focused on like artistry. And then um, one day I just was like, you know what? People keep on telling me I sound like this person. I keep on, they keep on telling me I sound like that person, that person. I need to create my own style. So I took two years out and I listened to no rap music at all. I listened to straight rock, country, R and B. You know what I'm saying? Just straight that music. And then after the, after about the first year of me just straight listening to it, I, that second year I spent on creating my own style. Mm. Like literally, like Figuring it out. I was, I challenged myself to to write a song in every genre. So like I would just like, <laughs> I would be in there just like just writing like, like just writing songs, just different songs back to back, and I and I just pick the the most difficult, weirdest beat that you can that you can think of that a typical person would be like, man, this be hard, enough, like hard to rap on. Why you, you know what I'm saying? I, and I would try to write a live ass song to it, and after a while. I just got real good at that, and then I, for a while I was on my on like the little rock pop style. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't really rapping. It was a lot of melodies and and like you know what I'm saying like talking about guitars, like stuff like that. And then over over time, I kind of mixed that with my old style, which was the rapping and punchlining, and then it kind of created the Earl of. Ninety nine percent. I haven't even seen. No rap, actually zero, zero percent. I've never seen a rapper just come out and be like talking about some shit and they just learn how to rap. I've never seen it. I've never seen it happen. I'm thinking I was gonna say uh, 
Rod Wave or Roddy Roddy Wave or whatever his name is. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Rod Wave. Yeah. Okay, Rod Wave. Yeah, I was gonna say him, but he actually I don't think he just like I me mean, I just you know, I just started rapping. Like he had been you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Doing it. I can't think of nobody. I'm trying to think. I can't think of nobody. Anyway, I don't respect I nigga, it's like and you can't even say it because niggas gonna be like, oh, you just, you just hating because you've been doing it like for five, seven years. And you know what I'm saying? Like you ain't made just like, nah, nigga, it's like Lil Wayne said it best. You can't, we can't go and play basketball. You feel me? Like we can't go and play basketball and we just uh, like rapper turned basketball now you got these basketball players turned rappers, fucking yeah. YouTubers turned rappers. Niggas, niggas not staying in a fucking lane, you feel me? And it's pissing me off. I'm <laughs> playing. <laughs> it's making me mad, bro. Like, for real, it's like, it's, it's, it's kind of irritating. I mean, not saying you got to just be, like, doing one thing, but I feel like you I can, you you can respect. Right way. I yeah. said if you do it the right way. Yes, but how 90, 90%, 95% of these people are doing it ain't the right way. YouTubers becoming rappers just to say they rappers. <laughs> you know, rappers becoming it's basketball sad. players just because they, they, you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like I got to do something. I feel like I'm going to have to switch up what I do. I feel like I, I'm not, like, I feel like I can't be a rapper no more. Like I'm, nigga, you gonna have to create something. Well, that's the difference between that a rapper and an artist. Oh, well, you know what I mean. Yeah, you know. they they turn rapper, they ain't turn artist. Oh, uh-huh. that's the difference. You know what I mean? That's why I say it depends on how you. They, you know, they can be rappers all day, but an artist is what lasts. Um, I guess we can end it on this note. Remember that a loss is not a loss; it's a lesson, and lessons are are, are meant to be learned from. So, um, remember that, and also don't be scared to sacrifice time to leap for it. And that was that's the whole purpose of this of this, uh, this podcast, man. Like time, you can never get back, so spend it wisely. And uh, some people, if you you know, depending on what your values are, time equals money. You know what I'm saying? So the more time you waste, the less money you have. Or I, I would say I'll put it like this: time equals time. Put it like that. The, <laughs> <laughs> the less the less time you spend. On uh, the more time you spend on things that don't matter, is the uh, the less time you have to spend on the things that do matter. You know, what I'm saying the things that are gonna help you excel in life. You know what I mean? So either you spend time stable and being held back, or you spend time in action and leaping forward. And remember, we always end the podcast with this: Don't let what's on your chest go to your head. And we gonna cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we out. Peace. And we back. Back at it like a crack at it.